Hello, LB parents. This is Coach John here from Learning Out the Boss. And today I want to share with you the question 17 for PSLE 222 Paper 2. Yeah, so this video is specially done for you. Okay, so what we have here is a question, and then uh let's go back, let's go straight to part A, all right? Yeah, I mean you can pause the video and then reach the question because I want to make sure that I spend more time on the explanation. How many small cakes did Mrs. Lee bake? Okay, so uh, very much we want to slow down because a lot of times when kids see a question, in my opinion, he will he or she will jump in. Yeah, so let's see how do we actually process the question. All right, so part A, they are asking how many small cakes did Mrs. Lee bake? Okay, so right now what we will do is to, to streamline into the question and looking through all the words with small cakes because we want to get the information out yeah so this is what it is okay and then um yeah so part a is pretty straightforward and for children who are more visual what i will do is you can actually draw five units and three units and then you'll find the value of the three units okay so for primary six standard what we'll do is to use ratio and 40 means total, okay? So from sentence one only, you can solve part A already. So 8U is equals to 40, and then find the North Star, which is the value of 1U. Why North Star? is because, again, for most problem sums, we need to find the value of 1U. So in LOB, we, we actually um, teach children to always navigate through the North Star which is finding 1u, all right? Then 40 divided by 8, which is 5. And then we have to find 3u, okay, which is 3 times 5, which is 15, all right? Okay, so that's it for part A. Yeah, so you can see that even though the question looks very chunky, many lines, many set words, but if you narrow down and read carefully, you can see that for part A, you just need you just need sentence one and that's all. all. Right, so what about B? Okay, so for B, how many cherries did Mrs. Lee use for all the small cakes? Okay, so the keyword here is all the small cakes and then let's look at what else we have. Yeah, so moving on, she decorate them with cherries and you need to look at the cherries. So we have to move on this sentence and to the third sentence as well. And then, the number of cherries used for each large and small cake. Okay, keyword again is each, yeah? Yeah, so it's three is to two. All right, so in this case, we know the number of units as well, yeah? Okay, so, and then we'll move on, which is we know a total of 204 cherries for all the small cakes and similar large cakes. Okay, so what we'll do now is, first we have to identify the concept which is called number of units times value. And we're gonna write down here in a standard box. And let's write down number of units, okay, not not space, times value. Okay, so something that um, P5 learned that in school. Yeah, so if your child is not sure what it is, please go back to the curriculum, all right? Okay, so in this case, we're talking about cherries right so what we'll do is we'll start off with cherries all right so for the cherries which we have in sentence three we are talking about one uh large and one small cake and that is three is to two and you know that in this case it is talking about three units is to two units okay so what this means is that we continue to move on and let's look at how we can use the number because when you have units, you need to find the value of one unit. And as you have learned from our classes, the function of a number is to help you to find the value of the units. Just like how 40 here is used to find the value of one U, okay? So the number is there for a purpose. So what we can do next is we can go for total cherries for all the small and big cakes and large cakes. 
yeah, fish. At the same time, um, since it started off from one large and one small, so shall we find the total cherries for all the large cakes first? Yeah. So we have seven is given, okay, times three units, which is 21 units in total. Okay. Okay. And the other one that we move on is we move on to the all the small cakes. Yeah, which is 2U times all the small cakes. And we have, and that's 15, right? Okay, so we have 15. That is from part A. Yeah, so as you can see, part A leads to part B. And naturally, then when, when there's part C, um, you get information from part B as well. Okay, so they are all interrelated. Yeah, so for 15 wise, you have two times 2U, which is 30 units. So in all, 21U plus 30U is 51 units and itself is equals to the total cherries that is used to decorate the cakes. And again, find your North Star and that is four. Okay, so again, does finding one U gives you the final answer? No, it is just the midpoint or the, or in our case, in learning out of the box, we use it as North Star. So now let's see how we can move on from here. How many cherries did this Lee use for all the small cakes? Okay, so let's go back to these small cakes and that's 30 units and we have to use back to 30 times 4 and, and that is 1, 2, o, okay? And that's it for part B. Okay, so moving on to part C. How many more cherries did Mrs. Lee need for the remaining large cakes? Okay, so again, what we can do here is we can do step by step and let's find off what does it mean by the remaining cupcakes, uh, large cakes, okay? So what we do here is we first we find number of large cakes, yeah? Large cakes and that is 40 minus of 15 and that is 25. And when you get 15 again, it's from part A again, yeah? So part A, is actually used twice. One, this is from part A, okay? This is from part A as well, yeah. So this is how part A and B supports part C. Okay, so now, remaining, so remaining means that you have to remove seven, okay? So number of, okay, let me just move up a bit, okay? Let me just move up a bit so that you have more space. And number of remaining, large cakes yeah which is 25 minus 7 okay and that is 18 and that's the remaining okay so in this case let's slow down a bit and they're asking for cherries and not large cakes so what we'll do is the number of cherries okay in this case will be 18 times again look at the one uh, large cake has three units of cherries, so we times three U, and so it's 18 times three, what's the value of one U is four. So with that, your answer is 216. Okay, so I hope that this video will benefit you in some ways, and the reason why I go slow is because I think that it's very important for the child to really understand how to start so that he can get himself unstuck. So if you feel that this video can benefit someone else who is struggling in maths, um, please send him the video so that we can all help more children. With that, I'll see you around in the next video.